Today we'll take a look at Michigan signee Doug McDaniel. This is the Wolverine of all three sports, the best of college sports and recruiting. The 5'11", 170-pound point guard out of Virginia is now the 73rd ranked player overall, the number 9 point guard in the country via the on-3 consensus. McDaniel just finished up a great senior season at Paul 6 out of the WCC, the same conference that produced Hunter Dickinson out of DeMatha and Terrence Williams out of Gonzaga, and many other high-level Division I basketball and football players. The point guard was able to win Player of the Year in the WCC in both basketball and football. He has the prototype of a small, quick, thin guard who uses his elite speed and quickness. I know a lot of people wonder how he would translate to high major basketball due to his size, but check this out. Phil Pressey came into Missouri at 5'10", 160, was an all-conference selection in both the Big 12 and the SEC. Yogi Ferrell came into Indiana around 5'11", 170, where he was two-time All-Big 10, Big 10 All-Defense, and Big 10 All-Freshman. Tyler Eulis came into Kentucky 5'9", round 160, and he earned SEC Player of the Year, SEC Defensive Player of the Year, SEC Attorney MVP, and he was a consensus All-American. Doug is coming into Michigan at 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 170. And look, I'm not guaranteeing a bunch of accolades, but I'm just showing his size can be used as a weapon without it becoming a disadvantage. McDaniel had offers from LSU, UConn, Wake Forest, Florida, Georgia, Penn State, and Vanderbilt before committing to Michigan during the summer and then signing on November 10th, 2021. His shooting has come a long way in the last three years. As a sophomore, he was still a Division I recruit, but his biggest knock was his inconsistency with his jump shot. But he's been working overtime, putting in the reps. He needed to increase his range and get consistent with the spot up and off the dribble shooting. This past season at Paul Six, he was able to shoot the ball well in those areas that he struggled in. Teams know how quick McDaniel is off the bounce, so they gave him some room, and Doug ended up forcing defenders to respect his jump shot. He ended up shooting over 40% from three-point range, and that should bode well when he gets to college. Here's a breakdown of his form. His elbow points out a bit, not over his toes. The ball is sitting on only one part of his palm with his offhand thumb and shooting thumb both active on the basketball. Even though he's improved in this area, he cannot stop working towards becoming an aggressive, creating three-level scorer. His ability off the bounce is what makes him a top 100 player and one of the top point guards in the country. He commands the offense and does well dictating pace. Doug has played extensive minutes at both backcourt spots, so he has an ideal understanding of spacing with and without the basketball, knowing where players should be in the transition and in the half court. He has quick moves and combos, and has been able to adjust his layup finishes and floaters around the paint to counter rim protectors. He also does a nice job getting teammates involved, whether going downhill and dishing passes under the basket to bigs, or coming off the pick and roll, dragging the defense and hitting open shooters. Overall, Doug is coming into a program who is looking for a player who can get their own shot, stretch the floor, and create some offense. Doug's developed shooting ability with his craftiness should allow him to play off the ball at times as well as initiate offense. Growing up playing with and against the top competition, you know he's not afraid of challenges and I can see him competing for a spot in the rotation. 